Hi everyone, welcome back to a new one wherein we're going to talk about uh, Vault and Secret Engine and Vault. Secret Engine are really it's like the heart of your Vault system. Now in this session, uh, we're going to talk about what Secret Engine is in Vault, Hashikov Vault. We're going to talk about how you could create Secret Engine. Now Secret Engine, as I mentioned, is the heart of the Vault wherein you store all of your secrets, you generate your secrets. A secret could be anything, could be your Azure credential, could be your AWS. There are 15 to 20 different uh, uh, provider of uh, secret engine and HashiCorp, likes of Active Directory, Ali Cloud, AWS, Azure, Console, Google Cloud, uh, databases, key value, key management. In this session, we're going to be talking about one of the most commonly used secret type, which is Key Vault. Now, Key Vault comes in two version version one and version two as of now as you're watching this video i would recommend you to use uh, the version two and i've done that too um key value as uh, as the na name suggests it stores the value in the form of a key and a value which means you would have a key it could be your name and value could be the value of your name which is shantanu now the example could be your secret access keys in azure or aws your uh, secret tokens where the key would be access underscore secret key and the value would be a random secret number so this is about key value and the way you set up is pretty similar for most of the um, most of the secret engine in this session we're going to talk specifically talking about key value I've made sure that I use multiple ways to create key values. One way is using the GUI. So you could open Vault UI and start clicking through the GUI and start creating the key value secret engine. Second one is using the API. We could use the curl command so far, been using API a lot, right? So in the course, I have showed you how you could use the curl command, hit the API, create different types of resources. Similarly, we'll, we, can, we can create secret engine using API as well. The third uh, way is using the CLI. So Vault comes with the CLI by, now you should be aware that Vault create resources like users, policies, and a lot of other features or resources using CLI. And we would be using CLI to create the secret engine as well. By default, uh, there's something called a scubby hole, which HashiCube Vault gives you, and that's what we could be using as well but generally in your case you could be using the key vault which is used to keep your secrets now your application would directly contact the key vault key or key value uh, in hashikov vault to access the secret now again these secrets could be uh, your certificates tls certificate user credentials uh, could be um, could be any of the passwords or username database host name could be any of these credentials all right, I hope this was informative. I'm pretty excited to see you in the demo. Thank you. All right, welcome back. I know you've been pretty excited to get started and start uh, dumping all of your secrets onto Key Vault, right? Or, or the Hashikov Vault, right? Uh, but Vault is not a simplistic solution. You got to have a lot of uh, underlying technologies or an underlying configuration which you need to make before you start pushing all your secrets, start creating all of your secrets, right? And now these secrets could be in Key Vault, could be your uh, certificate details, could be your technical users, could be your passwords for Postgres or databases, or your backup files, could be anything, right? Before that, we had to do some homework, right? Now, the, the homework was setting up the Kubernetes cluster, setting up the vault, right? Setting up the access uh, as well via GitHub, uh, or token or user pass we can't use token forever right because that's like the root user you got to create users so that your developers your product owners business analyst testers infrastructure consultant can start using the vault everybody want to have the same level of permission we haven't got into the permission yet but these steps were really necessary first thing first need to have before we start saving the secret start migrating our so uh, you would do two things either you're going to migrate all the secrets from your existing key vault or any sort of vault uh, to hashikov vault which we've set up or you could just start creating new one how do you do that there's something called a secret engine now i have a uh, separate session in terms of theoretically also but pr this is a hands-on session right secret engines are the component 
into HashiCorp Vault, which stores, generates, encrypt your data. They're incredibly flexible. So it is, it is very easy to get started when you're thinking to keep secret. Secret engine is your heart of your vault, which is gonna keep all of your secrets, all right? Secret engines are enabled at the path level, just like any other component. Uh, we did it for authentication as well. And same with engines also. They work in a path-based model. When a request comes to vault, the router inside the vault automatically routes anything with the route prefix to the secret engine. So all your secrets, your username, passwords, your database password, connection strings, certificate details, secrets key everything gonna get into the secret engines all right the life cycle is you first enable it we haven't enabled it right there's a enable button right over here again the workflow gonna remain same i'm gonna show you how you could just do things from ui and then we're gonna get into the automated process as well so we're gonna click on enable and as soon as you do it you see plethora of options you've got active directory you've got kv which is key wall key value You've got PKI certificates, SSH, transit. Uh, you've got Active Directory also, which is like a secret engine, which is a plugin residing uh, where 80 secrets, like we want to keep all the secrets for your Active Directory coming from a Microsoft background. You could do that as uh, you, you could use something like as Ali Cloud also. I know Ali Cloud is not as popular as Azure AWS. But Ali Cloud Secret Engine is also uh, available in HashiCorp Vault, which dynamically generates Ali Cloud user access based on policies or Ali Cloud SDS credential based on RAM rules. Okay, so now the point over here is based on your cloud agnostic environment, whatever environment you're using, you could do that. If you're using Azure, there are high chances you should use Azure Secret Engine, which dynamically generates Azure service principles uh, with roles and groups and assignment and vault role can be mapped to your Azure roles and optionally group assignments as well. So the point is if you're using AWS or Azure, choose your uh, Secret Engine basis on that. Okay, you could use a console or databases as well. For now, I'm gonna keep it really, really simple. I'm gonna use something called as KV, as the name suggests, it's a key value secret engine. It's a generic key value, key and a value. Key is name, value is Shantanu. With store, used to, this, this key value component is used to store arbitrary secrets within a configurable physical storage for vault. Now this backend can be used to run two modes. Either it can be configured to store a single value for a key or a version can be enabled as well to keep multiple versions of same key. Okay, again, it's a path based when running the key value secret uh, non-version, you, you would you would primarily running it as a path based as well, right? So you could give uh, a path as users or use underneath the users, you could mention the team also, engineering and another engineering could have different sub folders as well and engineering you could have a dev team a system engineering team a support team and whatnot for now i'm going to keep it simple i'm going to just keep it key vault all right and uh, maximum number of version i'm going to set it as default and now if i just enable the secret engine now you can start creating secrets as you can see until now, we did not have any option to create secret. We only had cubby hole, but generally for production, you would use some sort of other engine like Key Vault, Azure, AWS, GCP, and whatnot. If you go to the Key Vault, KV over here, and start creating secrets, you could give the path to secret and start creating your secret. My name is Shantanu and before hitting, obviously, you got to give a path as well. So I'm going to save it inside users and Shantanu. Okay. And I'm going to hit on save. This should be saved. And now if you see, you could just click on the value over here and you should be able to see the version. At the moment, you see the version is only one. Okay. And it, the version history and enabled also. At the moment, we've got only one version. Now you can start creating more version. Okay. 
the version would be name again could be Sean and that's my second version okay now if I hit on save you would see that automatically it has converted from version 1 to version 2 and now if you see a difference you would see what was the difference just like github or any source code repository you would see how it changed from one value to another isn't it cool so that's the version 2 and that's the version 1 okay come back again and you could start creating a new version also you can start uh, probably define something else also age 74 don't worry I'm that not that old but just for the sake of demo I do it so that's that's what my value with which is my name Sean and my age is 75 all right and then you could just start seeing the version difference also how it changed from one version to another version and you could just uh, you, you could uh, see the previous version or get back to the previous version as well you could delete uh, some sort of version which you don't want or don't want to keep a track of you could just delete it right from here you could enable the JSON as well if your application or your services kind of uh, accepts uh, secrets or password in a JSON fashion you could do that as well and now you could see the metadata also if there are any there are no fun looking at the metadata at the moment I'm just gonna disable but how does it look like if you go to KV underneath the users if you look at over here we gave user slash my name right and it created a path over here and now you can underneath the Shantanu you can start creating all of your secrets so what I'm trying to tell over here is you could just create a user folder and your user can start creating subfolder basis on their name so now I gave name but it could be divisions also could be engineering all right and then I'm just give a random arbitrary number and now if you see underneath the user you have two division or two folder engineering and Shantanu you could have as many as division like system engineering or probably for testing now test users would have different set of permission right so now you would see that underneath testing I don't have any secrets but I have the folder at least created so everything works in a folder fashion uh, and uh, there are multiple versions of key value one and two Remember you should always be using two because by default uh, from the UI it picks up two However, uh, if you're trying to create from uh, CLI or API you could just land up using version one also So what is a key value? Key value secret engine is used to store arbitrary secrets within a physical storage for vault Key name must always be string Now remember this the whatever key we save over here has to be string uh, if you write a non-string value it's uh, via CLI they will automatically be converted into a string however you can preserve if you want to keep things in non-string value uh, you could you could just uh, start preserving them by writing the key value to vault from a JSON file or using the HTTP as well alright that's about it this is how again the workflow remains same I show you how you could get started with one of these components pretty easily via UI and in the next session I'm going to bring in again the CLI and the API to enable all of these secret engines remember we have got multiple secret engines key value was one of them and don't go by the name this this KV could be anything uh, if you don't want to use KV uh, you could use any arbitrary naming convention basis on your environment could be let's suppose working for Google XYZ company you would write Google slash department slash engineering uh, instead of user slash Shantanu or whatever name you would give the department name and underneath these department name user can start writing their secrets I hope this was informative pretty important concept and that's the main uh, thing which we've been waiting for right we wanted to create secrets we wanted to save secret and we wanted to see how keyword actually stores the secrets or data underlying itself I hope this was informative I'll see you in a while thank you